Well, hello friends. Hey, it's Jamie here with Reese Homes. I hope you are enjoying a wonderful spring and the wonderful sunshine weather uh, that we've been getting with it. Um, Thanks much to those who came out to our latest Sips and Tips night, uh, where we had a glass of wine and talked about the market and talked about uh, the keys to selling in today's market. I wanted to pass along the market update both on a national and real regional level uh, so that everybody has this information because I think it's really important in understanding uh, what's going on right now. So I wanted to talk with you about, uh, first and foremost, inflation. And then we wanted to talk about employment and economic growth and how those are influencing uh, our economy. So the first thing is inflation. We saw inflation begin to pick up from uh, less than 2% uh, back in early 2021 and growing with uh, the growth of just money that was in the market uh, from 2021 through um, June, July of last year. And, you know, it started at less than 1%, uh, or, you know, a little bit over 1%, and actually peaked out at about 9%. And during this time, what you saw is the Fed starting to take significant action uh, about December of 2021, early 2022 and continuing to ramp up rates to help control inflation. And those controls began to take hold again last summer and we've seen the results of that as inflation has come down from a high of nine to a little bit less than five percent uh, for headline inflation and core inflation has, it was a little bit higher um, this past month at 5.6. Now that's an interesting uh, anomaly where core inflation is um, higher than headline inflation and the major reason for that is is how we measure inflation. While most of the components of inflation, about two-thirds of them are real-time, they're transportation and food and medical care and education and things like that, the one thing that lags is housing based upon how they measure it and the lag can be up to 12 months. Now if we look at what's happened with with housing prices, both from a rental and an owned perspective, uh, housing prices peaked out uh, at about May, June, July of last year, depending on where you were, right? And so what we look at is that that 12-month lag of those high prices is still in effect with the most recent March numbers, right? But if we were to go through and look at what would it uh, be if we measured shelter in real time as opposed to in this lagging nature as part of the consumer price index? Well, in March of 2023, the actual what was measured in CPI, it was 8.2% inflation for shelter, right? But the real-time February to March inflation of housing was only 2.6%, right? Now, that's a huge difference. That's six, uh, almost 6%, right? Now, if we look at that, by reflecting that real-time shelter cost would have dropped the core CPI down to 3.2% rather than being up in the fives, right? And that's much, much closer to the goal rate, which is in that 2% range uh, for inflation. So when we look at that, we, we believe that we're actually going to continue to see inflation coming down as those shelter costs are um, reflected more in the real time as we get rid of those high peak costs and reflect more into what they are today. Now, interestingly enough, when we look at employment, employment continues to be strong. We, we are seeing some layoffs of companies uh, that are trying to balance their budgets and, and um, right-size themselves for this slowing economy, but we're still seeing extraordinarily uh, low unemployment rates uh, regionally, which give us um, hope for the future and the fact that we won't have a significant recession, we'll just have an economic slowing, which is part of what uh, the Fed is doing. So right now, when you look at recession forecasts, keep in mind, this is what we want to have happen or what the Fed wants to have happen because a slowing economy will help control inflation and they want to get inflation under control first and foremost. Most of the economists that don't sell papers or clicks are telling us that we're going to see modest economic growth or flat economic growth for 2023. Certainly those that sell a lot of advertising and things like that, they tend to be a little bit more on the if it bleeds, it leads um, side of things. So certainly you can find headlines that are going to tell you that there's going to be a significant recession. But what we're finding is the predominant ones um, are telling us it's going to be modest or flat growth, maybe a small recession um, coming up. And keep in mind, part of this is in design, right? The Fed is trying to control the economy so it can control inflation. 
And when and if we have a recession, they're now going to have tools. They can reduce interest rates to help stimulate economic growth and get us back to 2 to 3 percent growth uh, of our economy while also having 2 percent or less inflation. So now let's look at a regional market update. We're always going to look at inventory, days on market, list to sale price ratio, and median home value. So inventory, what we're seeing is that we bottomed out um, earlier in the year, which is a very seasonal thing to do. Typically inventory is always bottom out in January or February, and we've started to climb a little bit. But keep in mind, we're still down at that 1.4 and 1.1 months of inventory, incredibly low levels of inventory. And that's been part of what's been driving the huge plummet in days on market, both in King and Snohomish County, from their peaks of 35 um, earlier this year. And when we look at list to sell price ratio, you can see that we peaked out early in 2022 with 110% in Snohomish County and almost 110% in King County last year. And we dropped down to uh, almost about 96, 95 and a half percent um, as we went through the winter season. But now that the spring selling season has, um, and that demand with it has come about in the low inventories, we're now back to 100%. And I believe as we look at April's numbers, we're actually going to break 100% on that median list to sell price ratio. Um, now, when we look at median sale price, this is where we look at um, the sell prices of 750 and 665 uh, for King and Snohomish County. And that's down from the peaks that we saw middle of last year, but we're starting to recover um, from those and starting to go back up based upon the the demand that's out there and and principally because a lot of people are getting more accustomed to the normalization of mortgage rates right this is a about a year long chart here and you can see even a year ago we were a, a little bit above five percent and the as of April 20th we were about six point four percent and today we're a little bit higher than that we'll have to see what the latest uh, economic news does uh, for uh, mortgage rates. I, I imagine what we're going to end up seeing for the foreseeable future, at least for the next two quarters, is mortgage rates somewhere between 6.25 and 7.25%. Uh, percent. And so as people are getting used to that, they're returning to the market and saying, well, let me get my home now. And if I need to refi in the future, that's just fine. So overall, the market's doing pretty well. We're just seeing some hesitancy of sellers to get into the market uh, because they really like their really low mortgage rate. So final thing to talk about is upcoming events. The next sips and tips that we have, we're going to be talking about the four best strategies for moving up or down or around town. How is it that you get from the home that you own today to the home that you're going to own tomorrow? I'm going to talk about those four best strategies to get you there. That's Thursday, May 25th, uh, 7 to 8.30 at McMinimin and McMinimins Bothell. Easy for me to say. And then we've got our summer movie barbecue. Um, that's coming up on Saturday, June 3rd, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Edmonds Marina Park. We hope to see you there. And if you've got any questions about the market, if you're thinking about uh, moving or have a friend who is, we'd love to chat with you or we always appreciate re your referral. Thanks for watching. Hope this information is helpful to you and enjoy the sunny spring days.